the JAMA Network. Johnny Coburn is back on the ice after being sidelined with a concussion. It was a really bad headache, just really bad. His parents watched him carefully. While his symptoms initially improved, after about a week, the headaches returned. I knew that the severity of the concussion was much greater than uh, that five days or seven days of rest would fix. More than half of these children treated at emergency departments end up with headaches after concussion. Parents usually ask about well, how long is my son or daughter going to have symptoms? And what's going to go on after that? And what do I have to do? But there's no good way at this moment in time to actually predict those that are going to go on to have persistent symptoms following the emergency department visit. In an editorial, doctors Lynn Babcock and Brad Kurowski from Cincinnati Children's Hospital discuss new research designed to help predict which children are at higher risk for developing persistent symptoms after concussion. Canadian researchers evaluated just over 3,000 patients aged 5 to 18. About 30% ended up with persistent post-concussion symptoms at 28 days. Both the study and editorial appear in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. They actually had 46 predictors that they were looking at. After they evaluated those 46 variables, they came up with nine variables that were fairly predictive of post-concussive symptoms. Do you want you to just follow my finger just with your eyes, okay? The clinical variables were used in a 12-point risk score. They included things like age, sex, history of migraines or depression, prior history of concussion, and problems with balance. Some of the things have been shown before in smaller studies, but nothing together as a collective summary of symptoms. It's variables that we would normally capture in the emergency department, but now it's compiled into one decision rule. Johnny says he's feeling much better, he doesn't have any more headaches, and is back playing hockey. I'm looking for playing with my team for a few years, playing really good hockey in college, and hoping that I get to the NHL. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.